Autoimmune diseases are um, extremely common in the, in the population. As a group of diseases, they can affect any um, organ, any tissue. They often affect people in the prime of their lives. Um, the diseases can cause significant morbidity. The, some of them can cause mortality. So as a uh, problem in, um, in the world, autoimmunity is, is a great one which needs understanding and solution. Um, Johns Hopkins has a long history uh, in studying autoimmune diseases. Some of the early founders of Hopkins uh, were interested and noticed autoimmune diseases. So it's really in, um, in our DNA to study these diseases. The approach I think that Hopkins takes, which has been relatively unique, is to follow patients in the context of clinical care um, and to partner with them in discovery to try and understand the causes and uh, mechanisms uh, of the autoimmune diseases. We do it across the spectrum. Um, the environment is really incredibly interactive, um, synergistic one. People who are interested in the autoimmune rheumatic diseases, diseases like lupus and myositis and scleroderma, interact with people who are interested in autoimmunity in the kidney, in autoimmunity in the nervous system, uh, autoimmunity in the endocrine system, um, generating a lot of uh, collaboration and synergy. Um, the, the institution has really made great strides in understanding the mechanisms of, of autoimmunity, particularly the relationship of autoimmunity, um, infections, um, cancers, and so on. Um, I would say that, that we are in a golden age of studying autoimmunity. The tools for um, um, dissecting the mechanisms of complex human disor disorders um, have changed dramatically over the last decade and autoimmunity finally is in this phase when really big strides are going to be made in terms of understanding, preventing uh, and curing these diseases. Mm -hmm.